Wedding Day Etiquette with Here We Go Go. Wedding Gift Etiquette. A clear guide for guests. Weddings are a time for celebration, love, and joy. They are a time when family and friends come together to celebrate the union of two people in love. One of the most important aspects of a wedding is the gift-giving tradition. However, with so many questions surrounding wedding gift etiquette, it can be difficult to know what to do. Wedding gift etiquette is the set of rules and guidelines that dictate how guests should give gifts to the newlyweds. It includes everything from what to give as a gift to how much to spend, when to give the gift, and how to give it. Following proper wedding gift etiquette is important to ensure that the couple feels appreciated and loved on their special day. Asterisk 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 disclaimer. HereWeGoGo.com has partnered up with Collective Voice, Amazon, and Magic Links. This blog may receive commissions for the affiliate purchases that are made through my site links. All of the products discussed throughout this video are tagged with a link to purchase for your convenience. If there happens to be two links given to one products, the first link will direct you to an American site, and the second one to a Canadian site. Happy shopping! Here are some commonly accepted guidelines for wedding gift etiquette. Gift giving timeline. It is customary to give a wedding gift within three months of the wedding date. Gift registry. Most couples create a gift registry to make it easier for guests to choose a gift. It is recommended to choose a gift from the registry to ensure that it is something the couple wants or needs. Gift budget. There is no set amount that guests should spend on a wedding gift. However, it is recommended to spend an amount that is within the guest's budget and reflects the relationship with the couple. Personalization. Adding a personal touch to the gift, such as a handwritten note or a customized item, can make the gift more meaningful. Does wedding gift etiquette change with the number of times you get married? Wedding gift etiquette does not change based on the number of times a person gets married. Whether it is the first wedding or the fourth, guests should follow the same etiquette guidelines. Do couples prefer cash or gifts from a registry? While there is no one-size-fits-all answer to this question, there are a few things to consider. Registry gifts are a popular choice for many couples. It allows them to choose items they need or want, and it makes it easier for guests to select a gift that they know the couple will love. Plus, registries often offer a wide range of price points, so guests can choose something within their budget. However, it's important to keep in mind that not all couples will have a registry, or they may have a very small one. In these cases, it's best to ask the couple directly if there is anything they would like or need. Cash gifts. Cash gifts are also a popular choice, especially for guests who are unsure of what to give or who want to give the couple something they can use towards their honeymoon or other expenses. While it may seem impersonal to some, cash gifts can actually be very practical and appreciated by the couple. If you're unsure, it's always best to ask the couple directly what they prefer. Ultimately, the decision to give a registry gift or cash gift is up to the guest. It's important to consider the couple's preferences and needs, as well as your own budget and comfort level. Whether you choose a registry gift or cash gift, the most important thing is to show your love and support for the happy couple on their special day. It's becoming increasingly common for couples to include a cash fund or honeymoon registry on their wedding website. This allows guests to contribute to the couple's honeymoon or other experiences, rather than giving a traditional gift. However, it's important to note that some guests may still prefer to give a physical gift. Knowing appropriate amounts of cash to gift at a wedding. When it comes to gifting cash at a wedding, it can be challenging to determine how much is an appropriate amount to give. The amount of cash gifted usually depends on the relationship between the giver and the couple, as well as their financial situation. Here are some general guidelines on how much cash to gift at a wedding for different types of relationships. For a family member, the amount of cash gifted at a wedding can range from $100 to $500 or more. The exact amount depends on the closeness of the relationship and the financial situation of the giver. If the giver is a parent, grandparent, or sibling, they may choose to give a larger amount of cash as a wedding gift. Gifting cash to a work colleague. When it comes to gifting cash to a work colleague, the amount can range from $50 TP $100. It's important to keep in mind that work colleagues may not have a personal relationship with the couple, so a smaller amount of cash may be appropriate. Gifting cash to a friend at a wedding can range from $75 to $150 or more. 
The exact amount depends on the closeness of the relationship and the financial situation of the giver. If the giver is a close friend, they may choose to give a larger amount of cash as a wedding gift. Gifting cash to an acquaintance for a wedding can range from $50 to $75. It's important to keep in mind that acquaintances may not have a personal relationship with the couple, so a smaller amount of cash may be appropriate. It's important to note that these are just general guidelines, and the exact amount of cash gifted at a wedding can vary depending on the giver's financial situation and the closeness of their relationship with the couple. Ultimately, the most important thing is to give a gift that is within the giver's budget and is a reflection of their relationship with the couple. When gifting cash at a wedding, it's important to present it in an appropriate manner. The cash can be presented in an envelope or a card, and it's always a good idea to include a personal note congratulating the couple on their special day. Is a gift required if you do not attend a wedding you have been invited to? Wedding invitations can be exciting, but they can also be a source of anxiety, especially if the invited guest cannot attend the wedding. One of the most common questions that arise in this situation is whether or not one should still gift something to the couple. According to The Knot, most etiquette experts agree that even if you cannot attend the wedding, you should still send a wedding gift. This is because wedding gift etiquette indicates that sending a gift is a way to show support and love for the couple. However, again, it is important to keep in mind that the type of gift and the amount spent on the gift can vary depending on the relationship with the couple and one's budget. It is important to note that traditional wedding etiquette states that if one cannot attend the wedding, they are not obligated to send a wedding gift, as Brides explains. However, this does not mean that one should not send a gift if they want to show their support for the couple. Wedding gift etiquette has changed over the years, and thanks to innovative registry tools, giving an actual wedding gift might be easier, as woman getting married notes. However, figuring out the do's and don'ts of wedding gift etiquette can still be tricky. In summary, while it is not mandatory to send a wedding gift if you cannot attend the wedding, it is still considered a thoughtful gesture to do so. Are communal gifts between a group of people acceptable as wedding gifts? Yes, it is possible to do a communal gift between a group of people as a wedding gift. This can be a great option for those who want to give a more expensive or meaningful gift but cannot afford it on their own. Group gifts are becoming increasingly popular, and many wedding registries now offer the option to contribute to a group gift. When doing a communal gift, it is important to have a clear plan in place. The group should decide on a budget and what item or experience they want to give as a gift. It is also important to designate a leader who will be responsible for collecting the money and purchasing the gift. One popular option for a group gift is to contribute to the couple's honeymoon fund. Many couples now opt for honeymoon funds instead of traditional gifts, and this can be a great way for a group of people to contribute to a larger gift. Other options for group gifts include expensive kitchen appliances, furniture, or even a piece of artwork. Overall, a communal gift can be a great option for those who want to give a more meaningful gift but cannot afford it on their own. Should additional expenses accrued as a result of the wedding be taken into account when calculating the gift amount to the couple? Weddings can be expensive, especially if you are traveling from out of town to attend. In addition to the cost of transportation and accommodations, you may also be spending money on clothing, hair, makeup, and other expenses related to the wedding itself. So, if you are from out of town and spending a lot on these expenses, does that play a part in how much you should gift to the couple? The short answer is no. While it may be tempting to adjust your gift amount based on how much you are spending to attend the wedding, it is not necessary or expected. The gift you give should be based on your relationship with the couple and your own personal budget, not on how much you are spending to attend the wedding. That being said, if you are truly struggling to afford a gift due to the expenses associated with attending the wedding, it is perfectly acceptable to give a smaller gift or no gift at all. The couple will understand that you have already spent a lot to be there and will not expect you to go into debt or financial hardship just to give them a gift. It is also worth noting that many couples now include a wedding website or registry information with their invitations, which can make it easier for out-of-town guests to choose and purchase a gift. If you are unsure of what to give, consider consulting the couple's registry or reaching out to them directly for suggestions. Overall, while attending a wedding from out-of-town can be expensive, 
it is important to remember that gift giving should be based on your personal relationship with the couple and your own financial situation, not on how much you are spending to attend the wedding. Frequently Asked Questions What are some unique wedding gift ideas? Consider personalized gifts, such as monogrammed towels or a custom piece of artwork. Experience gifts are also a great option, such as a cooking class or a hot air balloon ride. For the couple who has everything, consider donating to a charity in their name. Links to monogrammed towels below. How much money is appropriate to give as a wedding gift? According to traditional wedding gift etiquette, guests should spend as much on a wedding gift as they assume the couple is spending on hosting them at their reception. However, the amount can vary based on factors such as the guest's relationship to the couple and their personal financial situation. A good range to consider is between $50 and $200. What are some wedding gift etiquette tips for guests who cannot attend? If a guest cannot attend a wedding, it is still appropriate to send a gift. Consider sending a gift from the couple's registry or a thoughtful card with a monetary gift. It is also important to RSVP as soon as possible to let the couple know if you will be attending or not. Should I bring a plus one's gift to a wedding? If a guest is bringing a plus one to a wedding, it is appropriate to bring a separate gift for the couple. If the plus one is not able to attend, it is still appropriate to send a gift to the couple. What are some popular wedding registry items? Here are links to some great ideas. Popular wedding registry items include kitchen appliances, bedding, and home decor. Links below. Couples may also register for experiences, such as a honeymoon fund or a cooking class. Kitchen appliances, bedding, and home decor links below. Is it appropriate to give cash as a wedding gift? Giving cash as a wedding gift is becoming more common and is generally considered acceptable. However, it is important to consider the couple's preferences and cultural traditions before giving cash. If in doubt, consider a gift card or a check instead. When in doubt, it is always best to consult the couple's wedding registry or ask a close friend or family member for gift ideas. Remember, the most important thing is to show your love and support for the happy couple on their special day. For some great wedding registry ideas for American shoppers, visit the link above. For some great wedding registry ideas for Canadian shoppers, visit the link below. Here are a list of articles that are helpful for wedding gift etiquette. For more information on skincare, please visit our blog at https colon slash slash www.herewegogo.com shop our stores at https colon slash slash www.beautywegogo.com for a selection of top rated only Amazon beauty and self care products and shopstyle.com slash shop slash herewegogo for a wide variety of options. Hashtag sponsored hashtag collective voice hashtag Amazon.